Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praise unto Yah, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors to your brothers out there in the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And um, yeah, this is just an addition to um, all the different protests which are happening throughout Europe and throughout America. You know, um, the uproars of the people. You know, because um, in these particular countries. The people see it as their so-called democratic right to protest against the government or corporations or whatever the case may be. Mainly the governments. Like in this instance here, it says Merkel on the ropes. Thousands of German protesters take to the streets saying she must go. And the key coalition ally withdraw support to open door immigration policy after terror attacks. So these people are upset. And they're, they're using protesting to, a, to try and affect political change. But what they don't know is the time's going to come when all this protesting is going to be done away with. And anyone who protests against the state and any policy of the state is going to be deemed a terrorist. And that's ultimately what these um, terrorists... Uh, um, that's ultimately what these terrorist uh, um, laws were set up to do. You see, people thought that um, terrorism was all about guys um, in turbans and beards, but the terrorist terrorism um, legislations were set up to give the state um, complete power. All right, um, totalitarianism. All right, the end of democracy, <laughs> the end of your rights. <laughs> okay, that's why you got the Patriot Act and the NDAA. When you read these legislations, they basically are, they make, they're broad, okay, they're open for interpretation, and they're aimed at the people, okay. It says, the overview of terrorism legislation, there are numerous acts of parliament and regulations, rules and orders which provide for special counter-terrorism powers. Yeah, special counter-terrorism powers basically means they um, suspend human rights, man. <laughs> and offenses and all of this is in addition to ordinary criminal offenses because at the end of the day they're going to do away they're going to fuse criminal offenses with, with terrorists terrorism there's going to be no difference like all these shootings that are happening ultimately what's the difference between uh, a terrorist attack and a and a, just a normal shooting there is no difference guns are getting fired and people are getting shot okay so a terrorist attack is a criminal offense, and a criminal offense is a terrorist attack. And that's what you're going to find out. And police and security service powers of surveillance and investigation, which were they using this on? The people. While some of these new laws and specific terrorism offenses may be necessary, many others are not. Much recent counter-terrorism legislation. You're all right? Yeah.